black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What's going on, you guys? Back with another mukbang video today. We're doing Domino's Pizza. Um, you've seen this on here before, but I, for some reason, can't stop watching pizza videos on the internet. Um, specifically, one uh, the barstool sports guy. The he just takes one bite. He tries everything across like across New York. He just takes like one bite and then rates it or whatever. Um, but I just kept watching those videos and I was like, I need to eat pizza. And since he's a New Yorker, in honor of that, I had to get the Brooklyn style pizza from Domino's. So let's crack into that. I also have a story time today that is gonna be kind of a little bit more heavy. It is suicide related. And just coming off the heels of that video regarding Mac Miller and just talking about mental health and just, you know, that feeling of maybe, you know, opening up dialogue and being able to talk to people and, uh, you know, share your true feelings about how you're feeling about life and the world and things like that. Um, I just, there's this story that I have that's really close to me, but at the same time, it's like not that close to me. And that all kind of makes sense uh, at the end of it. Uh, but this is a situation that happened in my life that, um, I've always felt really like weird about it and not really known how to feel about it, I guess you should say, but, um, it, it happened sort of to me in a sense. And I feel like just like sharing it and my opinions and views and everything on it will, would be a good thing to do. So if you can't handle topics like this, then click off the video. If you want to hear it, then stick around. All right, let's get in here. See what we're working with. Drop the top on that. Just gonna set up a dipping napkin over here. Of course, we have the Valentina. Gonna make some pools for sauces. Obviously, we got the ranch, Hidden Valley. And today, I'm going in a whole nother level, uh, Sweet Baby Ray's. We're gonna barbecue it too, maybe a little bit. There's just something about barbecue pizza and sauce that I, that I do quite enjoy. Let's get in for a little close checkup on here. I got them to do extra cheese and it has pepperoni underneath as well. Brooklyn style pepperoni, which is like big pepperoni. Let's go for a sauceless bite. I wish it had more of a pull. Let's go for a barbecue. Close up for you guys. That late night crave bite. That rhymes. Late night crave bite. Lit. Valentina. Just something about hot sauce on pizza. It just works so well. And of course we have to ranch. And then a cross section. That's that crossbreed. The ranch, Valentina. Mm. All right, so the story regarding this suicide that happened very close to me. Starts by meeting the girl in high school. So, We met in high school. Um, I was in grade 11. She's in grade 9. And how we became friends was that... I don't know how it was like in your guys' high schools, but... In my high school, there was always... Different like segments of types of people. Jocks, burnouts, 
goth weirdos, nerds, music bandies. And I'd say with where I hung out, because I was into smoking weed a lot when I was in high school, I was kind of of the, I guess what you want to call burnout type crew, but <clears throat> weed enthusiast, more or less. But yeah, we just, I hung out with people who were in the areas where you would smoke weed and cigarettes and all that type of stuff. And so, at least in our group, I found that where we were, at any given time, you would have people from every grade, starting from 9 to 12. So, a lot of the people you would meet were, that were in that area were like, you know, like-minded to you, but they could have been from grade 12 to 9. So. You find yourself meeting and hanging out with people from every grade. So it's just kind of like a mixed bag of ages. And nobody there was like really too... That I think that uh, was cool about where I was at school. I don't know if it happened where you were, but we didn't so much care about how old you were, what grade you were in. If you hung out in the area that we hung out, then you were cool, and and like if we liked you, then you're cool. Like it just didn't really matter. So as we over the years, you know, we would hang out from time to time, party together. I ended up. seeing two of her like best friends for a while like just obviously in different years but you know we got to know, all know each other pretty well and she actually kind of dated my stepbrother for like a little bit as well So that's where our relationship was established. So obviously, as you guys know, later in life, I would eventually move to Toronto. And periodically, I, uh, I would go back home to to visit mainly in the summertime and so in this specific case it was the summertime and so at this point, I had been living away from home for about four years. I hadn't seen her in at least that amount of time, maybe longer, five, six years. And so obviously when you go back home, when you visit in summertime, you go and hang out with friends and go to parties and stuff. and you end up bumping into people that you used to go to high school with and stuff like that. So I'm home visiting. It's like a Friday night. And these two other girls that I was good friends with, they're like, yo, we got to hang out with you when you're in town. Uh, we'll roll through, scoop you up at like, I don't know, 7 o'clock. And then we'll just go like, kind of find various shit to do. And uh, also, we know of a, a party tonight 
that were we could probably roll to. So I was like, cool, sweet. So that's what we do, hanging out, blah, blah, blah. Start drinking at a point. Eventually it's like later in the night. End up at this dude's house for a party. I actually know him from back in the day as well. And, uh, He lived like kind of just on the edge of town where like he had like a pretty big backyard where you could have like fires and stuff. So he was having like a big backyard party with a fire. We sort of roll in, we roll in. And then, you know, as you do, you're making your way around your party, the party, kind of seeing, like, who's there. And all of a sudden, I see this girl that I'm talking about that I went to high school with. So we see each other. We're like, whoa, no way. Like, what's up? Oh, my God. Like, this is nuts. How are you? I haven't seen you in, like, forever. Like, just that whole thing that you do when you see somebody you haven't seen in forever that you used to be, like, pretty cool with and tight with and shit. But, you know, your life just went a little bit of a separate way, and that's life. So her and I get to talking and hanging out. And then at a certain point, her and I are just like sitting on this log and we're just having like at this point we've been hanging out for like two hours just talking like catching up and like having like laughs like jokes like life talks and then she was telling me She's been in this serious relationship for a bunch of years now, and her and her boyfriend are kind of having, like, some, some difficult times. But outside of that, like, she was in great spirits. As I say spirit, I should say she was also that type of person. She was very, like, spiritual and, like, almost had, like, a hippie vibe in a sense. Like, she had a very, like, um, just really out there, like, just believed in, like, a lot of vibe and energy and, like, you know, star child kind of thing. So, uh, anyways... Valentina's got me lit up. Time comes to leave the party. I leave with the other girls that I came with. But, you know, I go home, they go home kind of thing. So, wake up the next day. I wake up late. You know, like 12, 31 o'clock over and I have like 15 to 20 missed calls from the girl that one of the girls that I was with that brought me to the party and I'm like like this seems excessive like holy crap whatever so I call her and I'm like yo like I'm not leaving still for some days yet like relax you don't gotta blow up my line this hard And she's like, no, uh, I found out early this morning. She's like, I'll just say her name, Steph. She's like, Steph killed herself last night. And I was like, 
I'm like, what? Like, no, like, come here. Like, you're fucking with me. Like, you're, like, don't be an idiot. And she's like, no, 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 for real. We, we've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. Like, Steph hung herself last night. I just, like, sat there in, like, complete and utter disbelief. And, you know, those quite like, why, what, how, where, when, like. And she's like, I don't know much details, just that she hung herself at home after the party. She went home and hung, her, hung herself. And I was just, like, so fucked up, like. for the rest of my vacation or whatever, longer, and even the day. So, later, I guess, we would find out that her and her boyfriend that night had some crazy, huge argument after the party. Where I don't know if they, they broke up or maybe she found out something about maybe he was like cheating or I don't know what, but that's what was sad is that they had some crazy blowout argument. And then, you know, I guess that happened, so. Until this day, I've always been carrying around, like, why, why was I one of the last people she talked to? Like, we're, like, why in the universal scheme of things, like, coincidences or whatever, like, why is it that I was, like, probably one of the last, like, four people that she ever talked to? I didn't, if she was, if it was because of her boyfriend, I guess if it happened after the fact, then there's that, but like, why wouldn't she just like, we were, we were having like really deep talks and like life talks and having like good times, like laughing, like everything was good, right? When we were talking, everything was fine. Like everything seemed fine. Like I would never assume that she would go home and do that that night. There's no way, like she was not, you just would never tell, you would never know. You would never fucking know. And I've just always been like, why, why was I one of the last people that she talked to and why, like, she couldn't just say something like, if it was that bad, like, just, you could have just told me, like, it would have been fine, even though, yeah, I know we're not that close, we haven't talked in years, but still, like, we were having a good time, like, she clearly knows, like, I'm not a judgmental person like that, too, so, I don't know, it's always just kind of messed with me, and it, and this is what I mean about this whole topic, is, like, just, you you can never see it coming. Like, I was one of the last people to talk to this person alive before she took her life. And I would have never, I wouldn't, you couldn't, I would have never guessed that that would happen that night. There's no way I could have had the smallest inclination that that would ever occur that night. And that's the thing about this thing with mental health and stuff is, like, you just never know the depth of, like, the internal battle of somebody and, like, the fake exterior that they will put on just to make them seem okay to like the to people around them and then they do the sh that like so yeah I just always wish that she had said something or there would have been I don't know something that I could have done I guess just being that I was one of the last people that she spent any amount of time with, like, you know, spent most of that party, her and I spent hanging out and talking to each other, talking to each other, just catching up and all that. So, yeah, I just, I just, it's always kind of messed with me and 
Um, I just wanted to share that story because it just goes to show, like, you just never know, like, what somebody's dealing with. And, and even worse, like, they won't bring it up or talk to you because maybe it's too weird or something, right? Like, I don't know. I just wish something could have been different, but keep an eye on those around you that you love. You know what I mean? So uh, until the next time, eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.